Don't worry, the other background is not going away. It's just gonna be like, I felt like mixing it up again. Okay, so kind of excited about this. I'm actually very excited. I've been wanting to do this for a while and I just don't know why I haven't. So today we are going to be comparing the Patrick Ta Four Face, I don't know what this is called. She's statue, oh, this might be the shade. She's statuesque. Cream contour and, <sighs> I was gonna say product. I don't know what that word was gonna be. Cream contour and powder bronzer duo. I can't open it. This one. Um, so I've had this, I actually, did I buy this or did they send this to me? Now I can't remember. They sent this to me. They sent me, I think all of them. This is the lightest one in the shade She's Statuesque. So there's a cream contour up here and then a powder bronzer. And then I was on beautylish.com and uh, perusing, you know, cause that's what I do. I love Beautylish. And then I saw that Wayne Goss launched his own like this thing. Uh, so this is called the Radiance Boosting Face Palette, Bronze and Sculpt, and I believe this is called Light Gold, the shade. Uh, so the shade names are Soft Gold Glow and Light Taupe. So once again, oh no wait, just kidding. Uh, so this isn't cream, this is actually powder, contour, and bronze. And um, this one, the bronzer, is a little bit shimmery. So we're going to be using either one on each side of the face. What do the, my sentences... They don't make sense. Anyway, I was super excited about these two palettes because I'm always looking for bronzers and contour colors. You guys know that I'm fair and olive, so it's like, that's just not the easiest. And I know that a lot of you are always looking for recommendations. And even if you find something that like works for your skin tone, maybe the formula isn't the best for you. So anyway, here is compared. This one definitely has a hair in it. Definitely looks like an eyelash, so just ignore that. The Patrick Ta one does have like a little um, plasticky thing to protect the cream. Obviously, just from looking at this, you can see that the Patrick Ta palette uh, has much more warmth in it, and the Wayne Goss palette ha is a lot more cool toned. So just like generally speaking, I am a little bit more attracted to the Patrick Ta one immediately because typically warmer um, powder bronzers and contours are a little bit more flattering on my skin. Um, if you compare them, you can kind of see that like particularly, I'm trying to point with my pinky, it's not really working. Particularly the uh, contour shade in the Wayne Goss palette kind of has like a little bit of a purpley look. Let me switch these so you can like see them next to each other. Can you see the difference there? It has like oh, almost like this purpley look to it. Whereas I don't know if this makes any sense because when I'm describing colors, I don't know if people really like understand what I'm saying, but this one, the Patrick Ta one looks more green and this looks this one looks more purple, you know what I mean? And then as far as the bronzers go, you can s hopefully see kind of a similar thing. Like the Patrick Ta one has more um, yellow in it, which is just more flattering on me because I'm so like yellow naturally. And the uh, Wayne Goss one is like a little bit more beigey, you know? Like a, yeah, a little bit more beige, but when I turn it, it, because it does have that shimmer in it, actually they both do a little bit, I think. No wait, maybe this might be mad. Ooh, Patrick Tall's might have like the tiniest bit, tiniest bit of glow. And this one is a little bit more glow. But when I turn it, I can see a little bit of a golden pearl on the top with like a, be a more beige, kind of like neutrally base. You never know until you put it on your face, you know? So I have used the Patrick Tall one quite a bit, but I haven't compared it to this one. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I guess I'm gonna have to set half of my face which is a little bit weird. All right, well, let's zoom in. If I'm looking up a lot, it's because I, I moved my monitor up again because people said that that was better. All right, so I have foundation concealer on, that's it. So I'm going to use the contour from the um, Patrick Ta palette. I kind of feel like the colors are just gonna be like gorgeous anyway. So like, you know what I mean? Like, what are we really comparing? Just, the, just kind of the, what did I say, the colors? I mean the formulas, like the formulas are gonna be stunning. So like, we're kind of just comparing the colors, I think. Um, so I'm gonna use this little Revlon brush. I'm gonna dip into um, the cream contour and I'm going to pop that underneath my cheek. And then lightly blend it out. So I mostly just focus my contour like right in here. Now, like I said, I have used this palette um, a few times. So I will say that like, just having used it, 
we that <laughs> what having used it like the few times that I have I do like the formula and I really do like the color as well like it does seem um to be pretty flattering for my skin and I think you can probably tell especially with a brush uh, which is always how I apply these these things whether it's cream or powder it's very light it's not too much pigment in other words like it doesn't build up too quickly so you have some wiggle room picking up some more on that same brush I'm gonna do my jawline so I usually focus it like just under on this area that kind of pops so that's where I focus the product sometimes I'll like just blend around my jawline and then I'll do this and kind of just blend up a little bit just to add a little dimension to the face I haven't been eating as much pasta but we are going to New York so it's gonna that's about to change um all right so I I like that color I think it's very nice it looks very subtle it's not like the absolute perfect shade for my skin but um the warmth in it makes it blend a little bit better you know I think let's do my nose so I'm going to use this um little brush right here it's like a I don't know what this is just a little pencil type brush it's a little weird to do half your nose this might be like a little bit warm for my nose but I do love a cream contour because I just feel like it's a little more forgiving um mostly just because like when you've done your creams or when you're doing your creams you have a little bit more flexibility like you can kind of go back in and just like blend with your sponge or I don't know it's just a little bit like powder seems so final you know so I would say just you know in general I typically use the same color that I contour my face to contour my nose just because of like I think it needs to be a little bit more cohesive it, it makes more sense that way to have those same colors throughout your face um, but I will say that just based on like this right here it does look ever so slightly warm in person but I think like once it's blended and and everything is um everything's down it kind of makes sense you know but you I don't know you'll have to let me know what you think and then you know what I'm gonna do my um my lips just because I do like that it has a little cover Natasha Denona palettes she has some like contour highlighting type palettes um, that have this little like plasticky cover to protect the um, cream. Okay, so there's that color, which does look, I think it looks nice, you know? Um, all right, I'm going to quickly set my face. Oh, why would I do that while I'm talking? I'm gonna quickly set my face with powder and then uh, we'll do the rest of the powders. Okay, so I just went in with a little bit of my Ilia setting powder um, and then my Elsie for underneath my eyes. Uh, really quick, I forgot to mention this. I was applying my sunscreen. I was trying the Tatcha sunscreen and it just started pilling like crazy, like all over the place. And I was like, cool. Um, so if I have like little, I don't know, specks, white specks all over the place, like on my shirt or around here, it's just yeah, we have to deal with it you know what I mean okay so I set my face so now I'm going to go in with the Wayne Goss contour once again this shade um and I'm gonna use this brush it's like a little uh flat fluffy morphe brush very interested in this because I've used the Patrick Ta one but I haven't used this one yet. so same deal I'm starting back here Okay, well already I can see that this is like on my skin just much more cool toned. It's looking ever so slightly more gray than the other one. Do you see the difference? This gives a little bit more um, warmth. And this looks maybe a little bit more like a shadow. Um, I will say that it built up, I actually like the pigment built up a little bit faster for this hmm well number one I like this brush better because it does add more precision <laughs> it looks a little bit it's definitely darker like it went down darker than this this was like I built it up a little bit like it was um just a little softer this definitely looks much more like a shadow though it's very hard to tell because of studio lighting like it's studio lighting you know what I mean like I wish I could 
mimic daylight. Um, and you could probably get really close, but natural light is just the absolute best to be able to see. The biggest thing to keep in mind is that like if something is blended and it's cohesive throughout your entire face, it's not gonna be noticeable. You know what I mean? Like I could get away with both of these palettes probably. It's just kind of about seeing like what I think fit, fits best and also the formulas, which this does seem like very blendable and pretty, you know? Like it's a, it's very easy to blend. Um, like I said, it, it built up the contour a little bit more in here like fairly quickly but it's blending beautifully over my over my foundation despite my sunscreen debacle um i'll zoom you in in a little bit so we can like really get a close look both both of the formulas are beautiful i tend to gravitate more towards a cream contour but this is actually quite nice it definitely looks more like a shadow and i think that's kind of why it seemed to build up a little bit faster is just because the color is more cool tone so it looks more like just looks more like a contour, you know? Well, actually, since we're here, since we're using Wayne Goss, I might as well use another one of his products. This is the number 20 brush. It's just a little little um, blender brush. So I'm gonna grab that contour once again. And I'm gonna do the same thing that I did on this side, but the powder. It's really tough with um, nose contour because you don't want it to be too warm because otherwise it looks like weird. But if it's too cool toned, it looks really muddy. I'm gonna use a light hand. Um, similar to this situation, it definitely looks, I mean, you can clearly see that this side is much more cool toned than this. This probably is a little too warm. I don't know. You'll have to let me know like what you, I guess I'm leaving it on a little bit heavy so you can see the difference. You know, I usually blend it out a little more. I don't usually do like stripe stripes. I don't know. For some reason I'm leaning towards this color, but I haven't blended this out fully. So this might be a little bit more of a believable shadow. Once again, I'm using a very light hand, but it's blending out really nicely. What do we think? Which side do you like better? I genuinely can't decide. Mm, for my nose, I think I definitely like this better. You know, like it just looks like more of a shadow to me. Maybe I should actually blend them like the way that I would. I don't know, I feel like I could fuck with both. I kind of wish I could mix them, <laughs> you know? Um, oh, I need to do my lips, okay. That was kind of a lot. That's the one, that's the thing about powder. It, oh, I guess I didn't set that area well enough. Oh, now I have a mustache. This is fine. Believe in yourself. Hmm, this is tough. Very interesting. All right, but those are the contours. So I'm, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm torn because I feel like both of them look beautiful. There's obviously more warmth in this one and there's, it's more cool toned for this. So if you're looking for a more cool toned palette, this is beautiful so far. Let's do the bronzers. How am I gonna do this? Cause I only have one of these brushes right now. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wipe this off as much as I possibly can in between each application, but I'm gonna use the same brush. That's probably really dis like distracting this, this noise right next to the mic, but I'm gonna keep doing it cause I gotta clean this brush. All right, so first I'm gonna go, oh shit. So first I'm gonna go in with uh, Patrick Ta, that color, tap it off. And then why is my battery dying so quickly? That's really annoying. You know what is really interesting? It's actually looking a little more orangey than I was remembering before. You know, I don't know if you can tell. It looks nice, it's very nice. It's a very, once again, very, very soft, flattering, easy to use formula. So I like to go kind of in where my contour was. I have these like breakouts here that I'm trying not to disrupt. So I'm just gonna kind of like pat around those. Genuinely don't know why my T-zone has been so oily recently. <sighs> very subtle warmth, very beautiful formula, blends out really nicely kind of just like blends into my skin, like melts nicely into my foundation, you know? It's just a color change, you know what I mean? Like when I put it over my foundation and my powder, it doesn't really like change or manipulate the formula. Um, definitely has a pretty look, but my like, yeah, my base hasn't really changed. And it complements that contour nicely. Okay, don't get mad at me. I am gonna use that same brush, but here's what I'm gonna do. I'm literally going to wipe it on this paper towel until nothing comes off. This is what I do all the time. This is me cleaning my brushes. That's not true. I clean my brushes. 
Now I'm intrigued by this because I'm a little worried that it's gonna be, oh, I'm a little worried that it's gonna turn up pink because it has so much like neutral, but it does have that nice like gold base topper, you know? And it has like a little bit of shimmer. So um, actually it's good that I'm using on this side of my face because I don't have as many breakouts on this side. <laughs> Let's see how the shimmer goes. I'm, ooh, okay. So a lot, a lot swirls off. So I'm gonna pick that up, but I picked up way too much product. Tap that shit off. Well, I, I kind of like went in a little heavy right up there, but can you see the red in it? Like that looks quite red on my skin. Okay, so if you stare at my forehead and I'm really hoping that the, op the what? The difference is obvious to you. I can see so much more of that red in my skin than over here. Over here, I don't really see an undertone change. You know what I mean? Like, because my skin is more warm, I'm not seeing this like, I'm seeing warmth here, but I'm not seeing this like change in undertone. So my like forehead, in my opinion, looks pretty yellow. <laughs> and then when I turn here in this area where I like placed a little bit too much, you can see this kind of like beigey, wow, I have the ugliest hairline. This kind of beigey, like almost terracotta color. You know, now I'm gonna go in. Also, the pit, there, it, these are definitely more pigmented. I'm just picking up a bit more product, I think. Hmm, the formula is so pretty though. Wow, that blended so nicely over my cheek. I do like this cheekbone better though. So am I biased? I gotta get a good look here. Wow, it did, well, they both did. You know what's interesting? I was a little worried that it was gonna be like too shimmery, the Wayne Goss bronzer, but it just looks like glow, you know? It looks really nice, the formula, especially on my cheek. This is gonna sound weird, but I actually think that that bronzer would make a really pretty blush <laughs> for my skin. Hmm, I mean, Patrick Ta has the um, disadvantage because I'm breaking out like crazy on the side of my face, so. Interesting, all right, I'm gonna zoom you in deep. Deep zoom. Okay, so for the forehead, Patrick Ta, Wayne Goss. You can see that little patch up there where I just went in a little too hard. That was, you know, my fault. I went in with too much product. The formula looks beautiful. It just melts into the skin both on both sides, just like so nicely. This bronzer color definitely complements my skin much better. And then as far as the cheeks, you know, it's a little tough because I'm breaking out over here and it just doesn't look as quite as cute. But I would say once again, it, you know, it blended really nicely and the colors look good together. The bronzer looks really pretty over here because I brought it onto my cheek a little bit more and it just looks, it makes like a really pretty blush color. And that contour is quite nice, actually. As far as my nose goes, I kind of feel like I could fuck with either one. It kind of just depends. I think I might prefer the Wayne Goss one though, but it's just a little dark. Like that's just kind of like a strip, you know? I would need to be maybe a little bit more careful. As far as like contouring my lips, uh, I think I like the Wayne Goss one better too. So as far as like the center of my face, I feel like I just need a little bit more, um, like a cool toned, I guess, is a little bit more like realistic looking, you know? Um, for my jawline, I'm kind of like whichever, cause it's like underneath, so who cares? but maybe I would lean more Wayne Goss. I think my only problem with the Wayne Goss palette is that I can't really get away with using this like sort of gray purpley contour and a beigey, more like terracotta bronzer. You know what I mean? So if I was gonna mix and match, I would probably use the Wayne Goss contour and then the Patrick Top bronzer, you know? Like I need to like balance because I have so much olive and warmth in my skin. I can't get away with using like too cool toned or like neutrally things. Otherwise it like, it just looks weird on my skin. Obviously they both look beautiful and the formulas are stunning. Um, I like them both. I really do. I like them both. I think, uh, I think I might like the formula of the um, Wayne Goss bronzer a little bit better. All of the formulas are really nice though. And I do prefer a cream. I just prefer a cream contour. All right, overall for me personally, well, fuck, I like both of them. I don't know. I think I'm gonna use them both. I really do like the Wayne Goss contour color. I think it's nice. I'm gonna have to like step out into natural sunlight and take a photo or something. Why am I getting so oily? Like, what is this shit? I think I might lean a little bit more towards the Wayne Goss palette uh, for contour because I like, I like the formula 
um, just for summertime, I'm kind of getting over cream products because look at my skin like I powdered and I'm getting so like I have all this um shininess coming through and I'm like why so I kind of feel like I need to take a break on the creams and maybe amp up the powders a little bit more and I do think I think that this contour color is actually kind of nice it's kind of nice I think it works but I definitely can't get away with the bronzer like it's a beautiful formula and I think I'm probably going to use this palette and just use this as like a blush because uh, like a bronzy blush, you know, for summer. I think that could be really pretty because it has enough red that I can get away with it. And it's also, you know, light enough that I can. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'll insert the price comparisons on one of the slides here because I have absolutely no idea how much they were. I mean, I bought this one, but I don't remember. And this one was sent to me, so. Two makeup artist heavyweights. Do you know what I am saying? I would recommend both. <laughs> but like, if you are a little bit more neutrally or if you prefer like more cool toned, and when I say cool toned, grayish kind of purpley colors for your contour, then the Wayne Goss palette is definitely beautiful. And like, if you like a light, terracotta kind of bronzer that's the one that I would go for but if you like more warmth I think the Patrick Ta one is definitely is just beautiful like the colors are, are really perfect so those are both the lightest palettes in the collections I know Wayne has three and I can't remember how many Patrick has maybe four uh, I'll link everything down below if you are interested in checking those out but yeah I thought it would be interesting to compare and uh whatever that's so that's what we did leave me your thoughts down below god I suck at ending videos Bye. <laughs> Gonna go drink my matcha now. So embarrassing.